well, there's nothing like a nice cup of hot coffee on a cold day. Hello, Internet, and welcome to the, the Rant Cafe. Oh, Internet, I was inspired last week. Absolutely inspired. And what inspired me, you may be wondering? A snob inspired me. An absolute snobby douchebag, or snobs in general. I really can't have very much patience for these people, these self-entitled jerks, as the Americans might say. Or douchebags, take your pick. These people, these self-entitled people, they are they're basically very delusional people living in a world of their own. Maybe I'm just a bleeding heart humanist and only someone like me can notice that we have enough problems with homophobia and racism and sexism and many other forms of discrimination. But to me, from what I've observed for being alive for 31 years on this planet, to me, we have enough division and enough segregation as it is without having to deal with the issue of class, between upper class and working class, or any other type of class for that matter. We really just don't need it. Not that the human race needs any form of discrimination for that matter, but we're really just adding more garbage on top of already existing garbage. Being brought up in a certain area, having a certain salary, owning nice things, and don't get me wrong, it's nice to have nice things. I have nice things too, but having nice things does not make me a better person. It doesn't make anyone a better person. All it is is a status symbol, and if you're using that to identify yourself, you don't really have much of a personality to begin with if I'm being perfectly honest here. I see a certain type of attitude from the very upper class, from all sorts of settings, from retail stores to cafes, even on public transport, where you get this attitude of, well, you know, I wouldn't be caught dead in certain types of areas because, well, let's be honest, they really just don't have a very good name to them, if I'm being completely honest. And another thing, I wouldn't buy those uh, products uh, from that store, because really, I do prefer something a little bit more upmarket, if you know what I mean. And I know I'm kind of caricaturing the snobby class a little bit too much there, but it, believe it or not, it does actually get worse. It gets so bad to such an extent, they're so self-entitled that they feel they're so above everyone, that they're too good to even talk to people who are beneath them in their own little minds, and I seen this last week, which was pretty recent, I was traveling home from, from work on the train. There was a gentleman who was very working class, you know, he wasn't a troublemaker, he was a nice guy, and he simply asked this other gentleman, who is a little bit more upper class, we shall say, he simply asked him what the next train stop was, and I, I can actually still visualize and hear in my mind how he responded. He actually sounded pissed off that someone had bothered him to actually talk to him. The nerve to actually ask him a question. How dare he? How dare he assume that he has the right to talk to him of all people. And you could tell by the expression on his face, the way he was looking at him, that he was so triggered by this. It's like, I did not come on this train to be bothered by the peasants. How dare he? Go away, sir. I have no time for your futile questions. But uh, he did answer him anyway, and he was, <laughs> he was actually so pissed off with the way he answered him. He was like, Grand Canal Duck. And he was actually so pissed off. And it's like, seriously, dude, he just asked you what the next train station is. What the F is your problem? It's a simple question. Are people not allowed to ask questions anymore? Does the freedom of speech simply disappear just because the, a certain hashtag privileged group <laughs> happens to be traveling on public transport? I mean, really. Look, they need a reality check. They need to realize that the world 
is not their castle, they are not a king, they are not a queen. They are the same as everyone else, they need to get over themselves. Seriously, they need to seriously get over themselves. You, they are just not as entitled as they think they are. They're not special. It's just, oh god, it, it really does irritate me how obnoxious and self-entitled and arrogant these people are. They're not special, they're just not. And what was really telling is that this working class guy, this more down-to-earth fellow, uh, says to me, you know, I just do not understand people like that. I do not understand these people who, who think they're just too important to talk to you. We're all human beings at the end of the day. And you know what, he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right, absolutely. We are all human beings at the end of the day. I understand that some people are, are introverted. I'm introverted and I do, you know, as I mentioned in a previous video, I have AS and I do find social interaction a little bit awkward sometimes. But I still talk to people, you know, I'll still answer a question. You don't have to tell the person your life story, but if they ask you a question, you can still answer them and, you know, in a courteous way and just treat them like a human being. It's not hurting anyone. What exactly is the problem? Someone asks you what the next station is, you just tell them the next station without sounding like a pretentious douchebag. As always guys, I would appreciate it if you would like the video, contribute in the comments area or submit a video response and share this video on social media would be very much appreciated. Until next time guys, freedom, peace and love. Bye. Hey Internet, if you like this video, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Click on the video on the left for the previous Nerdy Keith video, or click on the video on the right for the previous Irish Humanist video.